Good afternoon YouTube, it's Dave the Urban Survivalist, hope you're well today. As you can see, I'm indoors today, so um, just chilling out and doing a couple of videos indoors. Uh, I'm out tomorrow doing a wood burning stove video, so that's coming up, and that'll be posted. But today I want to talk about a bit of kit that I use really often. I mean, we've had it for two years, and I really smash it, I like use it a lot. Um, Anyone that follows us across the groups and stuff realise we do a lot of homesteading type activities and like especially bread making and stuff like that and cereals. So this is like I say a must have for any homesteading self-reliant type of person. Let's have a look. This is a Chinese made Libyan, I have to read that, Libyan, yeah, grain miller grinder. Okay. There goes a little picture. You'll get the idea because I'll show you in a minute. But this is a 750 gram hopper. This is kind of middle of the range size. The small one, 150 gram, was nowhere big enough for our family. So it's worth bearing in mind. And I think the next size up goes to something like 110 quid. So this was 78 quid. So middle of the road. Anyway, 750 gram hopper, 250,000 revs a minute, apparently. Uh, it does herbs, spices, nuts, grains, cereals, toffee, the lot. Anything that you grind down, it does it pretty well. Okay, what we're going to do is, let's put that down there. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to use a couple of things and uh, show you how good it is. Let's go and have a look. Right, now I'm in the kitchen so we can have a look. Okay, right, this is the actual machine, and I will say before we carry on, I'm not promoted to sell this or any of the stuff involved in this, okay? I'm just sharing this because it's a piece of equipment I've used for a couple of years, and it's bloody awesome. Okay, right, so this is the equipment, which we'll have a look at more in details in a minute. And as you can see, we get a lot of organic stuff that we buy. We eat mostly organic in this house if we can. It doesn't work out a lot more expensive, uh, Contrary to belief. Right, so today I think we're going to do the organic jumbo rolled oats. We're going to turn them into like a ready break cereal. We're going to turn this wheat grain here into flour. And maybe we'll do rice flour. Uh, some organic rice flour. But we also have rye grain, uh, pearl barley, buckwheat, and we have spelt and other bits and pieces in there. But I'll do them another time. Keep the video short and sweet. Show you how it works. This is what we're going to do today. So we're going to have wheat grain, we're going to grind into whole grain flour, and then we're going to do the jumbo oats, which we're going to grind into like a ready breakfast cereal. Uh, and the long grain rice, which we're going to make rice flour. I'm going to adjust the camera, and then we'll come back. Right, so this is the machine, as we've got here. We've got these two clips on the top, okay, which I've already preset here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the rice first. So we're going to do some rice flour. Okay, we'll move these other bits out of the way for now. And the wheat grain. There you go. Uh, that can go there. That can go up there. Move those out of the way. All right, cool. So the rice flour is going first. So it's easy as a pie to learn. It's turned off at the moment because I don't know how <laughs> temperamental it gets. So take that off. Okay, so like that. Easy. Inside you've got these blades here. Okay, hence why I've got it turned off, right? Very fast, very sharp blades, right? We don't have allergies. What you get when you buy it is like literally you get a spanner to take all this apart every time you use it. But I just give it a brush out. There's no allergies. We only have the same three things in here usually. And then if we need anything else out, we give it a ripe out. Okay, but um, nice and easy. So what we do is we open our bag of rice. Go to the scissors. This is so easy and it depends. Some people can't eat wheat, so rice flour is actually a good thing to make. And we just pour this into this bladed area here. Well, as you can see, that rice is about half full. So like it does have a good capacity on the top. And what we do is we put this on, like so. Just lock it into place. Make sure this is tight, okay? Now, once this is tight, we can turn it on. Switched on at the switch, right? This is really noisy. That's the only downfall to this whole thing. Ready? There 
There you go, less than 10 seconds, and we'll have a look at that, okay? Again, I'll turn it off before I open it up, and do these clips, turn off, right, there we go. So, if you can see that, rice flour. What we do is we tip that in there. What we do, if it's still thick, you still get some bits and pieces, what we usually do is sip it through. But now, just gonna put it through again, just to show you. So in there. Locked through again. Also, it won't turn on unless it's locked properly. Okay? You can pulse it as well. And then that's it. That's the rice flour done. Whew. Yep. Rice flour. Okay. I'm going to do, turn it off. I'm going to clean this out and then I'm going to uh, do the other bits. Right, so we have the rice flour done there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the oats and turn that into some sort of breakfast cereal. Um, you can have it like this, but obviously like sometimes the kids like it nice and fine and stuff like that. And it's also good for baking. So we're going to take that again. Pretty self-explanatory. Put that in. And what this does, it gives it, it makes it go a bit like um, ready break, if that makes sense. So again, I'll well, turn that off actually while I'm using it. So we fill that up. Uh, that's about three quarters full. And we give this a bliss up. Again, a bit of noise. Connect this in. It's actually nice to get like uh, proper organic oats and to make your own ready bread because ready breaks, I'm not sure what's actually in it. But it's got a lot of sugar content in her, as far as I'm aware. So let's have a look. So again, we turn that on. 10 seconds. Okay, give it a shake about. Okay, turn it off. Let's have a little check. Well, as you can see, still a little bit rough on the top. So what we do is we put it back in, shake it about and give it another couple of pulses like we did with the rice. There we go, turn it back on. And that should be done. That should be your ready break kind of done. There you go. So anyone who's ever bought ready break, if you're not in the UK, ready break's like a porridge oat material, uh, material cereal, whatever it's called. Okay, so there we go. Let's turn that off again. This is the habit I need to get into. So what we got here, fine oats, oat flour. So instead of these big chunky oats, we now have Our brush out, we clean. We now have, see if you see that, some fine oat flour. Exactly the same as ready bread, but without sugar. Okay, so now what we're going to do for the last one, we're going to do the wheat, and I'll show you how that goes. Right, so for the final one I'm going to show you, which is the wheat berries. Um, the reason I'm doing this video actually is because I'm actually run out of uh, the um, whole wheat that we make the bread out of. So I needed to grind a load more and I thought I'd just share it with you. So first of all, move this out of the way. We've got this wheat grain. Okay. 
just going to do that a bit more. Can open. Right, so this is organic wheat grain. This is actually 2023. This has been stored anyway for me. So this is out of date in 26th of April 2023. But this will be fine for ages anyway. I, I have no worries about keeping stuff like this. These dry wheat. It actually keeps longer than flour, believe it or not. Right, so we got this turned off. Now, this one needs a little bit longer because it's more coarse. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to give that a little brush out. Just get these excess little bits of dust out that we've got. It's already been cleaned, but just, just in case. Okay, fractions. So, nice and clean as you can see in there. Great little brush that comes with it. That's it. Get that off the side. Right, so with the weed breeze, what we can do with these, we fill this up. I like to do this in half, okay? So I do kind of half the amount, I'll show you. Got kind of half the amount in there. And then what we do is we do it for 10 seconds, the same as the other. This is also very simple, and then you get so many good things from this. Right, so let's have a look. There you go, right, so again, turn it off, open it up, watch out the dust, try not to breathe the dust in. So now, this this is done really well. So this is our coarse whole wheat flour. You can still see there's some wheat berries in there. So now we're gonna pulse it. Always turn it off before you open this up, okay? I've preset this, but you can adjust it as well. So turn it on. Okay, nice pulse. Turn it off, open it up. Go and watch out for dust. It's not the cleanest of uh, things. Right, so let's have a look. So what we got here is a pot for here. So here's our flour, very coarse. Go. What I usually do with this as well, as you can see, it still has some kind of wheat breeze shells in there, husks. I put this for a sieve and then I put it into the jar, the big mason jars that we have. So yeah, so set. I'm going to put some more in. And what I'll do is while I'm doing that, I will actually sieve the stuff that I'm using. So while I'm doing that, next, that first lot, I'll get a sieve. Excuse me, I can find it. Smash the place up. There you go. Nice sieve there. Put this through. Okay. So that's the first lot. So what we do with this again? We do exactly the same again. I'll show you how this is sieving through in a sec. Right, same again. Half full. Get it on there. Cool. Turn it up, turn on. Lots of noise, but it's worth it. The taste of this flour in your bread is amazing compared to like stuff you buy in the shop. Good as. Right, so we're going to leave that, we're going to turn that off for a minute. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and adjust this camera down so you can see. We There. Good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to sift this through and the, how it goes. I'll get more like Delia Smith every day. Right, so this sieve, okay, what we do... Again, it's not the quickest of processes. So 
So the stuff we're getting through the bottom is the stuff we use for baking. Any of your husks and that from the wheat bris, just go back in, we grind them back up until they go down to the fine powder. Okay? So simple as that. So this is the powder that we're getting now. I'll show you. We'll come back, I'll do this, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. But I want to show you this quickly, because look how fine this has become. This is our fine wholemeal flour that we use for baking. Okay, so we've gone from so we've gone from that to that. All right, let's sum up. There you go. Simple as that. A little bit of noise, but um, I don't know how long this video has gone on for. But like, uh, have a look. That's how long it's taken to do the week's grains for us. Okay, so we got the uh, got the whole wheat. Look how fine that is. That's pretty fine. It's still coarse, but it's quite fine. Okay, so it's done a good job on that. Just get that spoon. The oats again, not too bad. The oats seem to have a lot more moisture in, so like they have to dry out a little bit. But yeah, they're all done. And the rice flour is very fine. It's like powder. But yeah. So that's it. So we got the wheat, the oats, and the rice. Right, that was it, the uh, grain grinder. Great bit of kit, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, right, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, lots coming up, the wood burning camping stove coming up this week, some shelter building, uh, a sleeping bag review. We've got stuff up the allotment coming up. We've got urban survival coming up. Lots coming up. Okay, thanks a lot. It's been emotional. I'll see you soon.